Washington. My special guest tonight is Big Allen. Let's roll, y'all. FM, a Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station. Coming up in a few minutes, y'all, is my interview with Vic Allen. But in the meantime, he is OB. Stick and stay. Bend it over on the bed. Face down, 
WDM 98.5 FM, a Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station that was OB Buchanan. His single, Face Down. Coming up right now, y'all, is my boy, Gina Jones, in a few minutes. The next interview you will hear is Vic Allen, y'all. Be my shorty on the side. But here is Gina Jones with Somebody Wanna Party. Stick and stay, WDM 98.5 FM. Right after, right after this song, the next voice you'll hear is Vic Allen.
here. A 
size 12, but she can show sure get on down. A big woman can cook your food, even wash your hair. She can even bring your breakfast, breakfast to your bed. So all you women that's playing hating, don't be mad at the big girls because she's dating. Okay, I gotta get him in here, y'all. I gotta figure out what's going on on his end. For some reason, Big Allen request me to, to jump in my live because for some reason I can't get your ad button. I need your ad button to add you in. Try to request me. Hey, Rama, I see y'all. I'm trying to get his ad button, y'all. Give me. Oh, there we go. We got it. Like it ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing like a big woman to wrap them on her head. She may not be a size player, but she can show her get it on her A big woman can cook your food. One minute, 40 seconds. Here y'all go on the speed already. They flirting already, bitch. She may not be a size 12, but she can show you get on down. A big woman can cook your food. Even wash your hair. She can even bring you breakfast, breakfast to your bed. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. I know you need somebody to love you too. Hey. Good evening. You're listening to WDM 98.5 FM. A Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station. Now remember, y'all can also download this interview. You can go to iHeartRadio. You can also go to Spotify. It is live on TuneIn. You can download the app, WDEM, and it's live streaming, WDEMradio.com. You can also get this show on Google, Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts. And my special guest for this evening is Vic Allen. Hey! How's it going? I'm good. How are you? We're going to get it. No problem. we going to get it. <laughs> so, Vic Allen, this is my very first interview with you, and this is my very first time meeting you. Now, I play your music, but I've never met you before. I think I'll meet you personally on Sunday, but this is my very first time meeting you. And so, a lot of your fans are already jumping on there. Uh, Ray Burnett from God's Posse was like, what's up, Vic? <laughs> so, they <laughs> they all logging in already. So, um, I know where you came from because you were uh, with the Canton Spirituals. So, give them a little synopsis for the ones that don't know you. Give them a little update on you before we jump into this. Okay, let me see if I can sum it up real quick. Like a lot of uh, secular artists, I started my musical journey at the church, uh, playing the piano and uh, singing in the choir. 
and uh, I, I toured professionally with the Catch Crew for about 16 years all over the world. And I started producing Southern Soul and Blues records for Mel Waiters and Willie Clayton. And I did a record for Willie Clayton years ago, and I really, what we used to do was I'd do a record for him and I'd let him hear it. Mm-hmm. And he, he would go in the studio and record it. So this one particular record I did for him, I said, uh, so you like it? And he said, yeah, I love it. And up until that point, I had never even thought about doing Southern Soul or Blues, and that's what started it out. I went in the studio and recorded that one song, mm-hmm. and we added nine more to it, and we put out my first CD. And Bell Waiters put out the CD. Oh, okay. I put it in my first CD out itself. Mm. That's how I got started. That was back in like 2000. Wow. Wow. And so that's why you where you are right now. Now, before we move forward, um, speak to some of your fans that's on here. A lot of people are chiming in, saying something to you. They're flirting and all that good stuff. Well, hello, everybody. I'm just getting where I can see you watching. Okay, I see. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hello. I see. Uh, oh, Sean Nicholas. Sean Nicholas. Uh, who I see. James White. My label. Okay. Oh, no problem, no problem. So, so let's jump in here because you already gave me a quick synopsis of your music. So, so let's just jump in here and let's uh, talk about first of all the show July seventh here in Mason, Tennessee. From my understanding, you are from that area. Can you elaborate on something that? Okay. That that's that's the story. I have in laws in that area. Actually, from Somerville, Tennessee. My in laws from Somerville, Tennessee. Okay. So so me personally, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, but I got family in laws and good friends in that area too. So okay. I got deep roots in that area. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's talk about July seventh in Mason, Tennessee. You are one of the performing artists on that show. Now, will you also be at Live at Nine on Wednesday? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we will be there. Uh, uh, the July 7th show is a very special occasion for me because I get to perform with several friends of mine, good friends of mine. Mm-hmm. Wright is like one of my best friends in the world. We're real close. Uh, Karen Wood is my big sister. Uh, uh, and, and this, this other show is just built around people that are real close to me. Mr. Sam, that's a good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. So this whole show, I'm excited about it because all of those people uh, are kind of from that area. And even though I'm not from the area, I've got roots in the area. Right. So I'm really excited about this show. I think it's going to be real. A lot of fun. It's going to be really exciting for the fans to come out and check, check it out. Okay. Okay. Now, some of the Vic Allen soul man. So a lot of people know you. So it, 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 this is not hard for me because a lot of them know you, and you don't have to do a lot of introducing of yourself because most some artists that's new, you have to introduce yourself, and some people you don't. So with this being said, you have to introduce yourself. You don't have to, uh, but you can tell tell me about this new single you got before I play it. Okay. Okay. It's all about okay. uplifting them and, and, and letting them know that, that the fellas and, and the whole world appreciate everything that they do. So okay. I write a song that will uplift them, and that's what this song is all about. It's called Superstar. Okay, so we're going to take a pause, a quick pause, because I want them to hear Superstar. So we're going to take a quick pause, and then we'll jump in here and, and, and talk some more, if that's okay with you. That's fine. I mean, ladies, this is my new single called Superstar. Check it out. All right, here we go.
That's me. Hold on. I'm the engineer too around here, damn it. <laughs> I do it all. are back. You listen to WDM 98.5 FM, a Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station with my special guest, Vic Allen. They were saying they're getting a little feedback on your end. I'm trying to figure it out. So, do, are you hearing feedback on your end? I'm not. I think I just put my headphones on, baby. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> he got his headphones on. Oh, no problem. All right, we we don't give us a minute. We gonna feed fix the feedback on this end. Cause sometimes when you have headphones on, it'll it'll echo too. I don't hear the echo on my end. Yeah, see, I can hear it on his end on the other side. That's all right. We're going to work this thing out. No problem. Anyway, how y'all doing? I'm Because I am over the air. So, how y'all doing? At least I can talk to y'all for a minute because I am live. Um, I'm, I'm adjusting some of my knobs just to make sure that I'm not getting it over here. Oh. 
There we go. Okay. There we go. On your end. There we go. We we doing it now. Now we ready. <laughs> we ready. So now that we got the feedback out the way, all right. You ready? <laughs> Look, you I ready? Now, so we good. You sweating? <laughs> you ready? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tawana. Huh? Tawana. My cup bigger than yours. <laughs> Listen, uh, I am hosting that show uh, this Sunday, um, July 7th in Mason, Tennessee. I am the host. And I am looking forward to seeing you, hearing you live. So I'm excited about that, uh, Vic Allen, about just seeing you and knowing where you come from and your background. And now I get a chance to actually work with you, be on the stage with you, and introduce you, and and kid around because I, I I have fun. I want you to know you don't know what I'm gonna say. Just be careful because <laughs> I say some stuff, but I have fun, and so I am excited about uh, working with you this weekend and having fun. So, with that being said, uh, you have other new music out. Uh, what is that? Uh, well, what, what, you know, I'm not gonna say what is that. I'm gonna say what's the title of the other song you sent me. I do it that way. I think one of the, the other single I sent you was titled uh, "I Want to Do You." That was that's the this, the first single that we put out off the new CD. Wait, wait, you, you see my now, face? Wait, wait, wait. Say, say, say the title of the single again. Say it again. It's called "I Wanna I Wanna Do You." That's uh, that's the title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I want to do, do you. So now, want to do you can mean a whole lot of stuff. But in the man, in my mind, I ain't thinking that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm thinking something else. Like uh, with Lomax, he had when I interviewed Lomax, he was talking about put it all up in there. Well, we was thinking put it all up in there mean put it all up in there. But he was talking about some money in a wallet, and I'm like, what? Okay. You want to talk about getting on? <laughs> so explain. Well, well, well. What that, that song ain't what is? I'm about. Oh, that, that ain't what I'm talking about. That ain't what you're talking about. Oh, nah, I ain't talking about money or wallet or none of that. So what you talking about? Just say. It, it's I want to do you. You want to do you? You want to get some? That, that's what I say. You want to get some? That's it. That's all. I, I say this song is written with, with with men in mind who don't know how to say what they want to say when they want to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say it for you. So. <laughs> He's going to say it for you. Uh, I want to <laughs> do you. Now, you got one, You had another one called uh, The Forbidden Love Affair. You have that oh, yeah. one. You got that one as well. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. But what we're going to do, I'm going to introduce this next one called I Want to Do You because I like the song. I'm telling you. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I like the song, you know. Look, look at Cynthia. Cynthia done came on here and she said, damn. <laughs> well, I, I didn't think about that one right there. Damn. The Saints, come on, the Saints. But I'm gonna introduce, introduce this next song for me and then we'll go back into talking about something, you know, some more music, what you're doing on July 7th and other stuff. I just, I just like to talk. I like to kick it. It is what it is. Oh, take your time. So this is, I want to do you, right? Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so everybody, take a listen to the previous single uh, from the new CD, Untouchable. It's called "I Wanna Do You." Okay. Let's see what I got. Hopefully, it's the right one. That's it. No, that's soul music. That's what that is. That's soul music. Let it play. Then you, didn't, it play. then you didn't send, send me I Want to Do You. I heard that somewhere else. Okay, my bad. Well, let it play. That's song music, oh. everybody. Okay. Yeah. And then we can talk about that when we come off. Okay. I'm ready.
Back. You listen to WGM 98.5 FM, a Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station with my special guest, Vic Allen. And that's called Soul Music, is it? Soul Music. That, that's, that's, that's one of my biggest records, actually. Written by a good friend of mine, Omar Cunningham. That's my brother. Produced by myself. Oh, yeah, cool. Produced by myself, and uh, that's, that's one of my biggest records. That was put out probably about maybe 18 years ago. So oh, wow. Still doing well today. Still wow. doing very well today. Wow, that's 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 it's nice. It's nice. I'm I'm glad you sent it to me, but you need to send me do you. I will. I need I need to get that in my possession. <laughs> I, need, I, I do. I need, I I need do it in that. my possession. So, um when when doing this show July 7th. Oh, Terry Wright spoke to you too. I just have to say that one. Terry yeah, Wright. Hey, Terry, what up, buddy? What's up? So, you got to speak to your fans now. You got to speak to you speak to your fans now that they listening and watching. I'm speaking. You're speaking like Carmen, hey, hey, and everybody. Andrew. <laughs> Cause hey, everybody, Stacy, Stacy's watching. I see Tammy's watching. Mm -hmm. Larry's watching. It, it Rosemary, Paula. Uh, who else watching? Who else watching? Y'all say hi to him. A lot of them speaking already. So uh, we here, and we doing this thing. Cherry, right? Cherry's watching. Uh, Rosemary, mm -hmm. Cynthia Renee is watching Billy Bland. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. So, uh, now that we got that out the way, um, let, let's talk about July 7th, because I know we, we have to get these tickets sold. They're going fast, though. These tickets are moving. Yes. I didn't think yes. they was going to move this fast, because like Terry Wright said when I did this interview Friday, he said it's moving, but it's not moving fast enough. So, we got to get these tickets to move. But it's fast, though. They're moving fast, y'all. We almost sold out. We almost sold out now, Vic. We almost sold out. So, Vic gonna do that. He got something special for the ladies. I need y'all to get your tickets. I don't know what he got special for the ladies. I'm trying to find out my damn self. So, <laughs> you wanna tell me? Uh, I can't tell you. It's a secret. What? It's a secret. I can't tell you. You can't tell him? No, I can't tell you. You gotta be there to see. Y'all gotta be there to see. Y'all gotta see what's special. I we got, got special. special for the Roses, ladies, teddy bears. Uh, money, something. <laughs> no, nah, nah, it's a something. secret. I can't tell it. Something. But but I got something special for the ladies for sure. Now. And, and I got something for the fellas too. Oh, yeah, I, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't leave the fellas out. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as I get I'm somebody, fella, I can't. I can't. I can't leave the fellas out. I'm a fella. Exactly. See, but long as I get some, I ain't care. Oh, <laughs> I got you covered. See that finger like that? Look, Vic. I See got that? you covered. See that? I got you covered. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like. It's See, gonna be, it's gonna be, listen, it's gonna be a hell of a show. It Terry is. Terry Wright, Vic Allen, Mr. Sam, Karen Will, Big Papa. You, you, it don't get no better than that. Mm-hmm. Larry, I'm gonna need you to take your teeth out. I need Larry to take his teeth out on Sunday. <laughs> It's Mother's Day. You're wrong for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Take them out. Take them out. You're wrong for that one. Now. You're wrong for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. But you know what? I got caught up like that, Vic Allen. Uh, last, what, what, two weeks or three weeks ago? Was it um, Jello Shot? I think it was Jello Shot and, and Wayne. Shot. Yeah. Hey. Jello shot is dangerous. You got to be very oh, yeah. careful around him. Yeah. Jello shot will have you floating on the cloud. Baby, he came into the studio with uh, Jello shot is my god brother, and he came into okay. the studio with Jay Hammer, Ob Buchanan, uh, Gerard Rayborn. It was a few of us, and we, I did a, a big session, a big interview, large interview session with those cats. 
And we were in there, and then Jello Shot came in with these Jello Shots. And he gave Jay Hammer one, and Jay Hammer was cool at first. But the second one, Jay Hammer said, to one, what the hell, Jello Shot just give me? I swear it's hot. It's hot. He started sweating. He was wiping his head. I said, what's wrong? I don't know what the hell Jello Shot just gave me, but damn it, it's hot. Nobody warned me about Jello Shot. I found out the hard way. We never, we never warn people about Jello Shot. Jello Shot walk around and he smile. He say, "You want Jello Shot? Yeah. <laughs> you want Jello, Jello Shot?" Jello Shot said, "Yeah, man. Here, here, take this." <laughs> and I said, "Okay, all right." Uh, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> Wait, did you start getting hot? <laughs> it, it didn't take but one. That's it. That's he brought me this drink. Vic to the station. I was I was uh, doing the show. And he brought me this drink to the station, and he said, "I brought this for you from the cruise." And I said, "Okay." I said, "What is it?" So he bring me this drink. I said, "What is this?" I said, "He said it's for you. It's hen." So I'm like, I look at it. I'm like, "This ain't hen." I said, "Who the hell is Carlos?" <laughs> he said, "It's hen." I said, "No, that's a Carlos." <laughs> Who the hell? It's Carlos. <laughs> he said, "Well, it's just like him." <laughs> It tastes just like it. I said, no, oh, this Carlos. I don't know who Carlos he is. <laughs> we, we did a show down in Macon, Mississippi, me and Terry. And after the show, Jello Shot said, hey, man, I got a whole bag, man, left over. Just take what you want. <laughs> I said, all right. I took about three or four of them. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> Not a good idea. It was a wrap. <laughs> It was, a, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. Yeah. I don't know what the hell Jello shot put in them Jello them Jello shots. I don't know. He's the only man in the world that can go on a cruise and have Jello shots, and they still frozen, and, and and they don't know how he lasted the whole week with Jello shots. They were still trying to figure it out. I said I don't know how he do it, but he do it, and they be frozen solid. But he's a cool cat. Man. Yeah, he's dangerous. Don't mess with Jello shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not only don't you mess with Jello shot with Jello with the Jello shots, Vic. You, he can get tickets for any show. Jello shot got tickets. I said this man got tickets to every doggone show. I said I bet you he got leftover tickets from Elvis' funeral. <laughs> I don't even know if they had a ticket sale, but damn. <laughs> I said damn. I don't even know if he got a ticket sale. Did they sell tickets? Hell, Elvis, who else? Who else than that? He got leftover tickets. <laughs> shout out to the world-renowned Jello Shot. Jello Shot, Jello Shot, <laughs> and he, of course, you know he gonna be there with his Jello Shots. Oh, no doubt about it. I already know he gonna be there. It's, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun. Um, I think it's your first time. This, this will be your very first time actually hanging around me. But all those other cats know Mr. Sam, Big Papa, Karen Wolf, Terry Wright. They already know me. They don't know what I'm going to do. They probably don't know what I'm going to say half of the time. <laughs> what you say? Antifreeze. <laughs> Antifreeze. Larry say he put Antifreeze in them damn jello shots. <laughs> he ain't lying. He ain't lying. He, he put something in there. But um, we do, we do, we have a good show. Anytime I'm hosting something, you don't know what I'm going to say. Don't nobody know. I'm not, I'm unpredictable. I do crazy stuff. But it is a good show. What you looking at me like that for? Unpredictable. I'm, I, baby, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, Vic. I hosted a show for TK. It was TK sold him, and I, and I hosted that show. And um, the, the, the DJ came out. He played my song Cardi B, Red Bottoms. So I come out here with these red bottoms. And and, and I, you know, I tell I heard all the women that got their red bottoms. You know, just sport your red bottoms. Let me see your red bottoms. So they come out there like I got my red bottoms on. To one, how much you pay for them? Nine hundred dollars. One girl paid fifteen for hers. She said, how much you pay for yours? I said, $1.99. I stole my mama's shoes. And it still got a flower on top of that mug. <laughs> the mug was glycerin. <laughs> the flower was shining. I done painted the bottom. <laughs> I put the red bottoms. Vic, I told the people, I said, now there's stipulations to these shoes. Don't stand in water for more than five minutes and don't walk in fingernail polish remover and you'll be fine. <laughs> And That's I wore, great. they thought I had on real red bottoms until they seen that flower from Sunday service. <laughs> <laughs> That's unpredictable. <laughs> I do some crazy stuff. But okay. we, we have fun. Every show, we if I'm hosting it, we're going to have fun. That's just it. That's all. We're going to have fun. Uh, well, my my assistant. Huh? 
I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, my sister Ro my assistant Rosemary, she's on here. She said, uh very unpredictable. <laughs> One time I took my wig off. That was fun. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I said, my friend, my, my sister DeAndrea said, what's in that cup? None of your business. That's what I asked too, DeAndrea. I said, what the hell is in that cup? Some water. Water. Some apple juice. Okay, apple juice. Apple juice. It, yeah. I'm going to let that be the reason. That's what we're going to do. We're going to let that be the reason. It is what it apple is. Juice. It is what it is. I, I, I told you I do unpredictable stuff. I took my wig off one time. I said, damn, it's hot in here. <laughs> I was scratching. It's <laughs> It's hot. <laughs> So it, it is what it is, um, but we want everybody to come down to have fun. It is going to be a fun That's event. Right. We're going to have fun. We're going to kick it. They, they are not funny acting or stuck up, so everybody that's buying tickets, they walk around. You can come up to them. You can talk right. to them. It's not going to be like, oh, I can't touch uh, Vic Allen because he's not talking. I ain't. Gonna, I can't touch Terry Wright because, you know, he, they, 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 they up there. doesn't matter. What I love about the, the people that's on this show is that they're they're talkable, they're touchable. You can take a picture. We had to go get J1 the last show because he was all the way in the audience. And I'm like, what is he doing out there? He out there taking pictures. You know, and it's and it's people like that that you can still talk to. Those are the people, those and like like J1 said, those are your fans. Those are the people that support right. you, those are the people that buy your music. Right. So you can't be arrogant with them. You gotta be out there. You gotta talk to them. Like me. I'm I'm personal I'm personal with all of my fans, all of my followers. I'm 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 a person per, I'm a people person. So I go out there, I talk to them, I kick it, I drink with them. If they got some ribs, I want some ribs. If they got some chicken, I want some chicken. Whatever they want, I'm eating it. Well, you know what? I got I to gotta take that back because somebody gave me some gifts and they were nasty. But I ain't going to tell nobody right. else. <laughs> they were nasty. Them gifts were nasty. I don't know what the hell they putting them gifts. Them gifts was nasty. But it, will, it is what it is. So. That's the way we are. I mean, that's one of the things. That's how me and Terry Wright hit it off. We just, we just hit it off as friends because we both had a lot in common and we both feel the same way about people that love Southern Soul and, and, and Blues and Soul music. Mm -hmm. We love them and we appreciate y'all's support. And we let you know that we appreciate your support mm -hmm. because we, we, we're going to be out there. We're going to be touchable. We're going to be easy to get to. We ain't hiding behind the curtains, behind no no, no stage and none of that. You know, that, and that's the way we like to try and uh, present ourselves as artists. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a cool thing. Um, and Southern Soul and Soul Music has, it, it's taken off. I am the first black female station owner here in Memphis. That owns our own station. I built it from scratch. So when you hear buzzing, I'm the technician in this junk. <laughs> I, I'm the technician. I got boards over here. I'm the technician. Okay. You know, but I built it from scratch. And I am okay. the first Southern Soul station on iHeartRadio. I am also the first okay. Southern Soul station on Spotify. Uh, with that being said, CD Baby has kind of pushed in. And now Southern Soul and Soul Blues have their own category on CD Baby. Right. So now we right. just got to push it a little bit harder to make other people open up and have a, a, a separate category for soul blues and southern soul. Right. I agree. <laughs> and I think it's important for the artists, uh, and I'll say this everywhere I go, we as artists have to keep putting out quality music mm -hmm. to try and, and push the envelope a little further and get the attention of more mainstream people. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that, that's what that's what we're trying to do. Right. And and I'm working with some mainstream people right now, some key people that um, is working with me and they're, you know, making some things happen on their end. Uh, like he said, it's going to take a little bit of time to want to, but uh, you're the key person to making Southern Soul and Soul Blues mainstream. So they're working with me. Yeah. So it's it's it's, it's, it's cool. Good. It's kind of cool, you know, being first at something. I was like, hey, I'm first, the first Southern Soul Station on right. iHeart. But I also play gospel in the, in the morning, and I tell people all the time, you never forget from whence you came. And I couldn't have gotten here without God. So what I did was, um, I kind of, uh, I, I call it kind of a like a variety station. But what I do is in the mornings from 3 a.m. to noon. Um, you will hear gospel and all day Sunday, and then it switches over, okay. and then it goes into Southern Soul and Blues, you know, then okay. uh, Soul Soul Blues. So then it switches at noon and and kicks over. So, but we never forget where we came from because I couldn't have gotten here without God. So um, right. I always got to put them first in everything I do. So for all the gospel artists that's watching this, I, I spin you. You get paid and I chart <laughs> all of the above. I pay. I pay, I pay my artists. I pay, and you guys chart. So, um, and I'm working with Nielsen as well. So I am 
um, I'll probably like in the next few weeks. Right now, I chart on the a company that I uh, pay to every month, a lump sum of money to every month. Uh-huh. But yeah. in a few months, I think she we're trying to get it done by the end of August. If it's not done by the end of August, definitely September, where I'll have my own. I'll be charting as my own entity by myself. I won't be charting under nobody else. I'll be charting by myself. So okay. I'm excited about that for all of the gospel artists, for the uh, BVS. I'll be charting on every major met- network there is uh, the 1st of September. So we're trying to shoot for that. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. We appreciate you, too. We appreciate oh, no you problem. doing what you're doing. No problem. I appreciate yeah. y'all. I appreciate y'all for sharing and tagging and downloading my apps and all that kind of cool stuff. I appreciate that. Because it's, it's, it's <clears throat> I'm doing it alone. I'm doing it by myself. So I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I don't complain. I just do it. It is what it is. That's somebody got to open the door for somebody. You know, somebody opened the door no, right. for me, but they made it hard for me. As a new radio station owner or, or a new radio personality, you know, it, it, they made it hard for me. This ain't this ain't the first walk in the park. It's just the first time I've branched out and started my own station. Uh, I've been in my own station for four years, but I've been in radio for over ten years. And so, okay. I started on AM seven thirty. Then I went to what is it? AM nine ninety. Then one hundred seven, one hundred four point one FM. And then I just branched out and started my own. And so it's been good okay. because I do notice a need in music, especially with independent artists. Yes. When you're an independent artist, it's hard to even get your name out there. It's hard for people to even listen to you if you don't have a name. And so I know how that felt. So I created my own station so that people that in that in, in that lane are trying to get their music out. They have a platform. That's wonderful. We appreciate it, too. No problem. Uh, me as an artist, I appreciate it. Really. No, I got you. Yeah. I got you. I got right. you. I That's got what's you. Up. That's what's up. So we got to kick it Sunday. I'm excited. Yeah, we will. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I, like I said, it's going to be a hell of a show from start to finish. I already know. Every 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 artist that's performing is going to bring it. I already, I've seen all these artists. They're good friends of mine. And I know what they do and I know what they bring. It's going to be a hell of a right. show. Right. Now, Mr. Sam kind of crazy. Yeah, very crazy. <laughs> and and he got a whole lot of energy. He'll never be still. Never. Never be never. still. Never be still. I get tired watching Mr. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I said, where you get this energy from? But he's a cool cat. I am trying to tell you. Very cool cat. Uh, the last show that me and I was on, Mr. Sam was on, Gerard Rayborn that came up before him and Gerard. Gerard lit that stage up. He ain't leave nothing for nobody. Gerard told the stage, oh, he got a little tired trying to hump that speaker. But <laughs> he didn't leave nothing for nobody. And so, Mr. Sam, I went back there for something to tell Mr. Sam he was coming up next. And Mr. Sam said, what the hell Gerard out there doing? He said, damn it. He said, I'm going to have to think of something, something out, out the water because I don't know what the hell Gerard just did. That's a hard act to follow. So I, I called Mr. Sam up to the stage. He come from all the way back there in the crowd. I'm looking for him to come on the side. I said, what the hell? You see him dodging do people. I said, where the hell he coming from? He all the way in the back. I said, oh, hell, it's going to take him forever to get up here. But he did a, a very good job, and he's, he's spontaneous. You don't, know, you don't know what to expect Mr. Sam. That's it. That's all. That's right. So that, y'all going to get a show. Y'all going to get a show. I've, ne- I've never seen you perform live, so. That's right. Mr. Sam going to bounce and dance and flip and turn and all that. But I, I'm talking about you now. I've never seen, seen you perform, so I'm a, I'm excited. I've never seen you perform live. I, I'm not going to give away any secrets. You just got to see. Dang it. I, I'm a... I'm really? Really? Yeah, really? Th- that's how you're going to do my life? Oh, that's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fool. No, no, no secrets. That's you know, a fool. We got some, all I'm going to say is we got something for the ladies. And we got something for the fellas. It's going to be a, a very, very exciting show from start to finish. You will enjoy it. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I, like I'm like i going to tell you, like I told, like I tell uh, Karen and Sam them when they do something wrong, you being dusty. <laughs> you being <laughs> dusty. <laughs> you being dusty. Right. <laughs> when Terry it's do something. Away, so, so right. I, I ain't going to give it away. I'm not going to give it away. Right. I promise you I'm not going to give it away. But Terry always do stuff to me or he gets stuff to me late. And I say, you know, you're being real dusty. I supposed to have this yesterday. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my bad, dude. I got you, though. I got you. I, I got you. So when I interviewed him Friday, 
He didn't give me a chance to say nothing. He just t- told everything. I said, well, you might as well just interview me because <laughs> you just told it all. <laughs> but he's, he's a cool cat. I'm, I'm excited um, for uh, j- just, you know, what he's doing. This is his first annual, and I'm quite sure it's going to get bigger from here because the tickets are going yeah. fast. Yeah. They're going That's fast. Cool. And, and I'm telling y'all, Vic Allen, got a, he got something for you. He got something for you. You just got to get your tickets to see. He got something for you. Y'all bring tickets, me some Patron. Tickets. Sunday, Sunday, July 7th is going to be something you'll never forget. Mm-hmm. From start to finish. I keep saying that. The show will be something you won't forget from start to finish. Mm-hmm. Y'all bring me some yeah. Patron. I'll be looking for y'all in that Patron. Y'all give me some Patron. Yeah. Yeah, Patron. Or Apple Crown. I can't mix them, though, because if I mix them, I'm telling y'all, I can't get, I ain't going to get drunk for, I'm going to wait till I finish before I get drunk. Because if I get drunk, <laughs> if I get drunk before, it may be an issue. <laughs> you may, it's going to. And, and you might miss something. The, yeah, I ain't, I ain't going to miss nothing. When I'm drunk, I look right, at okay. everything. But. Okay. You just don't know what else I add to that show. <laughs> okay, know. well, now you might need to get drunk then. I may add to that show now. It may be something okay. different. Right. You know what? I, I gotta. I, I'm not gonna get drunk until I bring Terry on. He's the last one, so I'm gonna get tipsy but not drunk. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm gonna break it out once 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 Terry hit the stage. Then I'm gonna be on the back road somewhere. <laughs> That's when I'm gonna be back roads. But. We're right. we going to have fun. It's going to be good. Where are the tickets? Jello Shot. You know, I told y'all Jello Shot got all the tickets. Any tickets you want, he got it, Patrick. Inbox me and I'll uh, get you the tickets. So just tell me how many you want and I'll contact Jello Shot and make sure you get the tickets. Also, the flyer is on my page with all of the information, all of the numbers, and all of the locations that you can pick up those tickets from. Uh, the tickets are $20 in advance and they are $25 at the gate. So, we want y'all to shout, get your tickets. Let, let me shout let me shout Patrick out. Go ahead. Patrick is a Southern Soul artist, too. He's got some really, really good music. Okay. So, I'm going to hook y'all up, too. Okay, cool. Hook y'all up, too. Cool. We, we, that, that's going to be good. He's he going to come to the show, so I, I, I'll get a chance to meet him when, okay. when he does right. come to the show because okay. he wants some tickets. So, he'll be coming. We'll I got some people happen. coming in from Texas that's, that's just coming in for the show. So, they're, they're, dry, they're coming in, flying in from Texas, and some are coming in from Louisiana. For the show, so I'm excited about that. That they'll come and and have fun with us doing that show, and I hate when that does that. Yeah, so it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a cool thing with them, everybody coming in. So I got people coming in from different parts of the of the U.S. to come in just for that day and just to have fun. Since it's an annual, it's it's an annual. And it's right. like you said, it's it's legendary, you know. And right. anybody that somebody has been there to Tay Mays. So, you don't want to miss this show. It's going to be fun. Then we're going to leave there and go on the streets down there with Tay May and them. We're going to gonna party. We're going to have fun. All right. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really good day. I'm yeah. excited about it. Yeah. Everybody, if you don't have any tickets, get your ticket and come out July 7th. It's going to be a party, y'all. It's going to be a party. And if y'all not doing nothing yeah. August 4th, that's my birthday bash. And I got a lot of artists coming in for my birthday bash, August 4th. Okay, all right. Yeah, so a lot of them sassy, we, we, D, we, Theo. We, we will definitely talk. Yes. We're going to talk. Yes, Theo, all Huff, right. all them coming in. Okay, all right. I'm Mr. trying to get Mr. TJ. Tell, I was going to say something else. Mr. Entertainment. Mr. Entertainment. And Stacey yeah. Moreno, yeah. Mr. Entertainment. Uh-huh. He, is it Entertainment? Oh, he's Mr. Excitement. Mr. It might, it's excitement. I think it's excitement. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I think it's like Mo B. Mo B gonna be there at the birthday bash. Okay. So uh Sassy D gonna be there, Gerard Rayborn, the cussing pastor that is Matthew. He Oh Lord. He gonna be there. <laughs> he gonna be there. That's my that, that's my pastor. That's your pastor? He so that, that's that's you know what? We we used to be at odds about eight, seven, seven, eight years ago. But right now that, that's my boy. That's my boy today. Nothing that I don't ask for that he won't look out for me. So he's been, um, you know, once we, you know, squashed it, we good. We good. So he going to be there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. A lot of people coming down for my birthday bash. So if y'all ain't doing it on August 4th, it's here at the Blues Club. We got a live band. And the ones that's going to sing that they don't know their music. Uh, nine times out of ten, that band know all the music. But if they don't know it, we always got track. Throw a track in. We always got it. It's, I'm going to have a 
few record labels in there that's looking for new artists. So a few of the record labels will be there, you know, scouting out new artists that's coming. So it's going to be a really good birthday bash. It's blue jeans and diamonds and white. Damn it. I think okay. I got it right. I don't know. My assistant's working on it. They won't tell me nothing. I don't know nothing. Okay. We're we gonna get together on it. We're gonna see. We're we gonna check on that. See if we can make that happen. Yay! Yay! Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. What Terry do? Right. What Terry go? He was on here. Where'd he go? I don't tell him what Terry doing right now. What you said? on him. What What you just said? What I you? I see Larry still watching, but they don't tell him what Terry doing. I don't know what Terry doing. You know what? I'm gonna say something. <laughs> Everybody that I interview that always come on my shows and we do these live shows. Um, They'll say, like, uh, let me just give you an example. Um, Omar and Calvin Richardson did an interview with me. They were both together. So Omar says, to one, it's only going to be 15 minutes. I said, okay, we can do 15 minutes. That's fine. You and Calvin will be together. We'll do the interview, and we'll keep it moving. Okay, 15 minutes went past. I said, it's time for y'all to log off. Oh, but hold on. There go my girl, Paula. Oh, they go kick. So now we're talking 20 more minutes. I said, it's 45 after. I said, y'all thought that was done in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, but we got something else to say. Oh, that goes so-and-so. But, Tawan, let me tell you about this new CD. And I was like, they end up being up with me a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it goes. We've we, we been close to an hour, ain't we? Yeah, we've been close to an hour. Me and Big Rob did two hours one time. Me and Big Rob did two hours. Wow. He, we were still talking about everything. So, it ended up being, like, cool. So, most people that come over here or interview with me, we never end up doing just 20 minutes. If they come into the studio, oh, it's a wrap. We're here four or five hours. <laughs> if they come into the studio, it is OV because now Jello shot in here. They all drunk. We didn't oh, order chicken. <laughs> we got fries. <laughs> we got everything. So we end up still here after the show over, talking, got chicken. We drinking. We have fun. That's it. So they can't come into the studio. They come to the studio. They ain't going to never leave. <laughs> right. Because that's the kind of fun we have when everybody's with me. Uh, we, we just have fun. I understand. So, you, you'll get to experience that. you get to experience that. This, right. this, this Sunday. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. And I'm also looking forward to Sunday. We're going to have a ball Sunday. Sunday, y'all. Sunday, 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 get your tickets. Get your tickets. $20 in advance. $25 at the gate. You got to get your tickets. Because guess what? Vic Allen got something special for the ladies. Oh, yeah. Just don't throw your panties up oh, there. Yeah. Don't throw your panties I, on the just, stage. Just, you, just, I don't care if you throw them up. Just make sure they're clean. Baby, I seen some panties. <laughs> One lady threw them big ass draw on that stage and had Dukes things in it. I said, did she just throw these big nasty? Woo, you don't want to know the words I said. I caught myself. Don't do that. I caught myself. Baby. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't Vic, do Vic, if you was there. You couldn't, you couldn't do nothing but laugh because they were cracking up laughing. I said, no the hell. Well, did she just do this? <laughs> it was so funny. Everybody just left. They was laughing so hard because I couldn't believe she did it. I said, it ain't nasty. Uh, don't, 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 let's just change the subject. Well, I, that's all I'm saying. Just, just don't throw your panties up there because it does happen all the time. And if they ain't clean, like he said, they're not clean. Don't throw them up there. Nobody want to see no uh, bungee jumping draws. You know, some people bungee jump them draws so so big. Baby, she took the elastic and just throw it up there. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will shut up. I will shut up because I know me. I know my mouth. I know me. So I'm, I'm gonna keep it cool. I'm gonna keep it cool. I'm excited about you coming, Vic Allen. I'm excited about meeting you in person. I look forward to it. We got, we got to do this again. We got to do this interview we again. Will. We got to do will. another interview. We now, when is your next? Now, you, this is your new one that's, that came out the music that you were sending me, right? This is new. Uh, this is the, the two songs, the two, well, the one song of Superstar is the newest single. Okay. Now, when? The, that CD has only been out two months. Okay. The, the full album? Four album is out. It's been out about two months. It's called Untouchable. Okay, so why come I just got two songs? Well, that's the label. Label is, you know. Okay. We'll talk about that. Later. Okay. Okay. We'll uh, when you that. said label, okay. Yeah. When you said label, we'll I understand. Label. It'll it'll work itself out. It'll work itself out. Yeah, me and you a deal. We, we'll talk. We'll okay. Talk. I got you. I got you. Uh, I got you. Thank you so much for, for just having this interview. We had some little technical difficulties in the beginning, but it worked out. It worked out. It's good. 
It's good. Thank y'all. I appreciate you having me. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Doing it again soon. Oh, no problem. I mean, for sure, for sure. This was good. This was a fun interview. And I look forward to All many right, more interviews. And and, 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 and I'm happy for your success. I am happy. Well, thank you. I appreciate you it. You know, we got a lot more coming. Uh, I'm really excited about the new CD, Untouchable. Uh, it's uh, it's it's getting a lot of uh, uh, mainstream airplay, actually. And mm -hmm. we're really excited about what it could possibly do in the future, so just keep listening for it. Now, question. My new CD is called Untouchable, and it's everywhere on all digital sites. You can buy it on all digital outlets, mm -hmm. and we even have some hard copies available at the label website, so oh. just, now, just uh, you know, support us. Now, now, question. Do you sometimes still sing with the Canton Spirituals? Do I, no. No? Okay. No, I haven't done that in a year. But I will tell you this. I have a, uh, I'm going to send this to you, matter of fact. Okay. I went back and recorded a Ken Spiritual song as a bonus track on this new CD. I recorded, we we, we, we redid uh, a Heavenly Choir. Okay. One of the Ken Spiritual, one of the most popular songs, actually. Mm-hmm. And it's a bonus track on the new CD, Untouchable. And I'm going to send it to you so you can play it in gospel. On your yes. Gospel yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll send it to you tonight, matter of fact. Okay. Okay, I get them yeah, and throw I'm, it in. I'll make sure I throw that one in. Anything by the Canton Spirituals, I'm going to throw it in. Baby, I was, I'm I a Canton Spiritual fan, baby. I probably seen you when I you was younger. Huh? You did. I, I was just was a much, much skinnier and more good looking all that. So well, what, you might not remember me. Well, hell, we all was. I, I, hell, I was a size zero. <laughs> <laughs> I bitch ain't no, I bitch fried out. <laughs> I ain't no zero right now. <laughs> I bet you that. <laughs> How about this bitch? Yeah, me too. Me too. They used to call me Rope Lady. I was so little. Uh-uh. <laughs> Baby, back in the day, we all was little. Oh, Lord. I don't want to be no zero no more, though. Mm -mm. No, that wasn't attractive to me anyway. All right, okay. But it is what it is. When you get older, you get fatter. Well, some people don't get fat. Some people have five kids, and they still get skinny. I don't like y'all. But uh, anyway, well, <laughs> so, mm. we're, just, we're just enjoying life. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, we're enjoying life. I tell my niece all the time, she got four kids and she went back to her high school weight and I was mad. I was jealous too. <laughs> I don't even like her. <laughs> I understand. I don't like her. I do understand. But it is what it is. Um, we excited about everybody that's coming. Everybody's been buying tickets. The tickets are going fast. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get. Doing this show on Sunday, July 7th in Mason, Tennessee. We got Vic Allen. We got Karen Wolf. We got Big Papa. We got Mr. Sam and the one and only. I done lost my good thing, Terry Wright. That's right. It's going to be an amazing show. show Y'all got to come see this. It's yes. going to be something you won't forget. And it's hosted by yeah. yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> Me. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, by the one and only. Tawana Murphy, Princess of Radio. There you go. I'm excited. We're gonna have yeah. fun. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Um, I look forward to uh, just many more endeavors with you and hosting many more shows that you will be on and hosting shows that you will headline. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Looking forward to it. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me on your show tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I may come down there and get on y'all nerve at live at nine and be like, take your teeth out. That's right, take your teeth out. It's Father's Day. That's all right. <laughs> you must have seen That's that video. Right. <laughs> did you see that video? Uh uh, I did. Oh, I'm gonna inbox it to you tonight so you'll be on the same page with me and Terry and Karen now. All right, okay. All <laughs> then right. you know what I'm talking about. That junk's so funny. I watch it all the time, and I just start laughing. Every time I watch it, okay. I fall out laughing. So I'm going to send it to you tonight, so then you'll know where we at. Because okay. we do all it all right, the time. Or well, Terry will come over there and say, Tawana, take the teeth out. <laughs> Shut up, do, Terry. Do that. I want to see it. Oh, yeah. We're going to have fun. Rosemary, take the teeth out. I did that to my mom, and she said, they in the jaw. I said, oh, damn. <laughs> Mama, take your teeth out. Oh, they in a jar over there. Go get it for me. I need to eat my chicken. I was like, forget it. It's a waste of my time. So, it is right. what it is. But my mom, she she didn't get it. She didn't get it. Mm -mm. I play with my mom all the time. My mom is clueless to a whole lot of stuff. And I think our neighbor, her neighbor was smoking some weed one day. I said, Mama, you got that good good in here? And she was like, that good? What you talking about? 
I said, Mo, you got that loud? She said, it ain't loud in here. <laughs> so I said, you got that loud in here, Mom? She said, no, it ain't loud in here. I ain't got the radio on. <laughs> I mess with my mama all the time. Because <laughs> she don't know. Oh, she don't know. I, I need to videotape her sometime because she is funny. I need, to take, I need to take my mama. But thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, okay? Yes, Martez. Martez Taylor. Congratulations. He he, he, he a pastor now, Vic Allen. Okay. He a pastor now. Pastor. Yeah, he listened to some. You know, he's a Canton spiritual fan, too, when you was okay. a Canton spiritual. So, he's okay. a Canton spiritual fan, too. His wife is bad, though. She's a beast. Woo, she can sing. Woo, that's a singing sister. Carla Tobit Taylor is a singing sister. That sister can go. Okay. Yeah, right. I'm going to have to let you listen to some of her stuff when you get here this weekend. She's a bad girl. Right. We'll do that. Bad we'll do girl. That. Martez, I need to talk to you about something, too. When I come off the feed, I'm going to call you. Uh, I got to throw some stuff in your lap for Carla when you get done. We'll talk, though. But thank you so much. All I right. appreciate you. Look, I'm going to say thank you all the time. I say thank you a lot. Thank you. I appreciate Bye. you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. We appreciate you. Okay? For sure. For sure. Always. All right. And I'll see you Wednesday. See you. See you Wednesday. Look forward to it, okay? Yes. All right. Be sweet. You too. All right. Appreciate you. Likewise. Look at All Ernie. Right. Hey. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Talking crazy to everybody else. Thank you. I did okay. tag you in the video, so you can still watch. If you still, I'm only got a few more minutes left, 9 30. I don't have to do a second show because I'm on all major outlets right now. You can go back and listen to this interview on Spotify or iHeartRadio in about 20 minutes. Once okay. I log off, it goes live. It's live now, but then once I go off, it saves the shows, and then you can go back and listen to them. Okay. All right. So that's, that's how this one works. So I don't have to do another show after this because I got it on all major networks. So it's kind of cool. That's wonderful. Thank you. So I I'll appreciate see, you. I'll see you Wednesday. Okay, all right. All right, bye-bye. You all listen right, to bye. WDEM 98.5 FM, a Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station, and that was my interview with Vic Allen. You know what? I'm going to put his up, because some of y'all don't know who he is. You know, some of y'all kind of, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Y'all just got to, you know what? I'm, I'm going to play this song because I like the song, be my shorty on the side. I'm trying to be somebody shorty on the side. I'll be playing my life. Oh, y'all be playing with my life. But here is my boy, Vic Allen, and this is something that you will get on Sunday, July 7th in Mason, Tennessee. It's called Be My Shorty on the Side. Be My Shorty on the Side. Keep it locked. You listen to WGM 98.5 FM, a Tawana Murphy Media Broadcasting Station. Here is my boy, Vic Allen, with Be My Shorty on the Side. Hey! Be my shorty on the side. Excuse me. Oh, sure. Maria. Oh, that's a Be my shorty on the side. Be 
my shorty on side. Yeah, that's the one and only Big Allen, y'all. With Be My Shorty on the side, you will see him Sunday in Mason, Tennessee. Get your tickets, y'all. Get your tickets. Yeah, I got to get out of here at 9.30, but I got two more songs to get out, get out of my system, y'all. Here's my little brother, Mo B, with Here Kitty Kitty. Hey!
Mama Side Chase the Cat. I'm gonna do an interview with Mo B next week. And he'll tell you where you can get the music from.
That's Mac Royale with Let It Long. That was Meg Royale with Let It Long right here on WDM 98.5 FM. Y'all, I'm going to end, end this night off with my boy Terry Wright with I Done Lost My Good Thing. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, Vic Allen, for your interview with me. I appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you Sunday night. Y'all get your tickets, Mason, Tennessee. If you don't know where to get the tickets, inbox me. I will, I will point you in the right direction. The flyer is on my page. Make sure you get your tickets for Sunday. Vic Allen, Terry Wright, Karen Wolf, Mr. Sam, and Big Papa this Sunday. I forgot my train to go. Terry Wright, right here on WDM 98.5 FM. Then I got to get out of here. I love y'all. You guys have an amazing night. If it's the Lord's will, I'll see you tomorrow. Everything in my home was gone. She done finally left me.
That's it, y'all. Good night, good night, good night. I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow night. Y'all, more artists to come. Mo B. And more. Right here on WDM 98.5 FM. You guys have an amazing night. I'll catch y'all in the morning for my gospel run. I love y'all. You guys have an amazing night.